What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Pirates. And in this episode, we are swarming <laughs> swarming the capital of Copenhagen. They have, do not have the troops to stop us. And this is the advantage of... Uh, well, this is what you need to do as the Pirates. You stack up so many men. The first army takes the hit. And it keeps your follow-up forces intact. And rather than discuss that strategy um, before attacking the city, I may as well do it now. So, obviously it's not a new, it's not a new strategy, it's not unique, um, but it's very much what the pirates have to depend on, because you're not going to be able to win a decisive battle and maintain m momentum with only one army. You're going to need to have a certain amount of cooperation with other stacks, because you're, you've got to think of it as you throw armies into the field to deplete the enemy's forces rather than to decisively win. So I might actually just deploy all my guns behind the line. Just swarm my way up towards them. Because they do have some cavalry, but we have, well, to be blunt, a crap load of troops. Go on, Mr. Bellamy, you will see one of the most strategically challenging engagements of your career. Let's make everyone run like a rab like a rabble of pirates would. They're going to run into the embrace. The enemy cavalry. Carcass shot is actually pretty unnecessary. <laughs> Imagine this, you're standing at the front line, a unit of the 14th Regiment of Foot in the distance. As far as you can see, there's just a swarm of pirates. My buccaneers might actually outpace my line infantry. Oh no. Just make sure their fire will off. Fold the flanks in because you may as well. There we go. Got the general's bodyguards charging me. Let's, let's do him the honour of a glorious death. Which I think we have done because neither of those are the general, so this is it's not going to be the general's bodyguard. Blunderbuss shotgunners, line infantry. So I expect shenanigans at play because it's raining. Yeah, there is shenanigans at play. I wonder if there's a way in the main campaign just to turn off weather. Probably not, because it kind of defeats the point, maybe. Colonial militia unit, set them down here. Send them down here to charge the 2nd Regiment of Infantry. Same with you guys, just charge that unit there. Let's commit my Buccaneers into the action. You men, charge the line infantry from a hell of a ways out. See if the officer gets shot down, because those guys haven't fired yet. Oh no, they're just making ready. A couple of shots off. There's only th 77 here in this unit, but their general has been killed. The rest of their army is scattered. It will not take many casualties for the 30, not 35th, just line infantry to realise their goose is cooked. The 25th have also hit their line. Yeah, they're confident. Well, good for them. They are confident. Don't worry. Buccaneers are on their way. If militia aren't enough to win, what you need is a bunch of scallywags in bandanas. There you go, they're wavering, so get ready to hold them all as a group. Push on to the second. 
speed up time, because right now it's just going to be... Swarm, swarm, swarm. So if those guys don't get this sorted out, those all of these guys are going to come over here and sort it out for you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's the grand strategy of how you fight as the pirates. And a very complicated strategy it is. I, don't, I have no idea why this... Why this sound bug exists. I mean, I don't, there won't be a way to do... Difficulty hard... No, no advice. I don't think there's a way to do anything about... Water, sky... Hmm. Oh well. Copenhagen is taken. We don't have the strength to yes. do anything with it. But that's not going to stop us. Let's ship one of our ships north to, to look at Norway. Norway will fall before the pirate banners. Actually, let's not send you. I know we can't actually make it into the Baltic. There is a small fleet of Prussian yes, ships. We can cross into pirate into Swedish territory. Interesting, but Hanover's right there, so you may seek to do battle, Albert Ketterer. But we are very we're super close. We're only one territory away from succeeding or for meeting the enemy and meeting the campaign success criteria. So I might even send one of these armies west. One to keep an eye on the east. Let's hit in turn. But yeah, I'm probably going to play this episode out as if... Well, what I'm not going to do is take one more territory and say, Oh, no, we finished. I'm going to play it. I'm going to keep playing it as if I was continuing to play. But at the end of this episode, I will be posing a question to you chaps. What do we do? Do we carry on playing as the pirates? Or do we accept this as a win? And move on to a different campaign, really, because I don't, I don't, eh, I don't know. If you guys want me to carry on and do a world domination as the pirates, then I'd be more than happy to. But I think it's just going to get <laughs> really, really not fun to watch. And uh, because the Ottomans look like they want to ruin my game, I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back when they're finished. And we're back with the traditional. Uh, peace request from 13 colonies. Yeah, the Iroquois are pushing, on, pushing into uh, some of our northern territories, and that's completely fine. I originally moved, as I wanted to try and keep the Cherokee under control. So, here. There's a small Spanish army there. Let's move you guys down to attack the Spanish. Let's just go for a tobacco plantation and upgrade on these farms. Let's send you guys back up towards Michigan. Let's build the governor's residence and let's take Mr. Montalban's force and have him siege Teleco. And Chicasa itself can build a couple of reinforcements. Let's upgrade the iron. Actually, let's not upgrade the iron workshops because we might lose those iron workshops. And then let's roll out some road upgrades. You know, I do like me a road upgrade. Good. And let's balance that out with a upgrade to the smiths. Actually, no, no, no. I've got to repair Copenhagen. I'm going to need more money than I set aside. Make ready. I mean, if you guys might just go for a shot towards Christiana. Yeah, at War of Hanover. Hey, I've got a university. Let's make break ready. that, because that will make them even happier. Come on, Mr. Bellamy. Good. We have no need for your research here. Bankruptcy is about to, should drop through the floor. Okay, all good stuff. More recruitment in England, because we are still trying to recruit pirate hordes. We're up to 20,000 income, which is pretty nice. 
probably going to want to consolidate our gains here in Norway. Let's hit end turn. Well, not that we have any gains in Norway to consolidate, but we probably want to keep our... We want to be very tactical in where we try and uh, conquer. We don't necessarily want to cast a wide net and say, yeah, you know what, we'll take on the world and we'll fight everywhere. And again, as is tradition, don't know what it is about this particular campaign that's causing issues. Um, yeah, actually, actually, it looks like it's quite going quite quickly now. Yeah, compared to last time. <laughs> Panicked Swedish maneuvers. We're going to auto resolve just to let you. We can do some damage. It sucks that we're going to lose all those buildings in Detroit, but uh, you know what can we do? Hey, the Cherokee at Teleco are going to Sally. We need to be careful with this one because they are dangerous. They are very dangerous, the Cherokee. To be honest, and all Native American factions in this campaign. Especially to the pirates, because they, uh, if they overwhelm us, they could destroy us. And they really might overwhelm us. So we're going to want to keep our buccaneers... God, rain again. And Limber. Probably want to deploy a bit deep. Good, let's deploy another two on the right flank. Let's deploy two on the left. Keep back a lot of reserves. You guys, yeah, you guys are deployed. Deploy a wide reserve and have our howitzers firing off carcass shot from range. Well, they may as well fire round shot for now. Damn. Oh, you misclick there, caused a bit of issues. Then our uh, reserves stretch our line out a little bit further. General in the center. The new men of Garrison have limbered up and limber again. Tenth Regiment unable to engage for an awfully long time. There's a cavalry unit on our extreme flank. That's the general actually back there. It's a bit of a surprise. Okay, there we go. So now we're also dropping howitzer shots. To be honest, probably going to want. Well, at least one unit, this one, this unit of howitzers, howitzers when they're ready. Just try and start to thin out some of this cavalry. Well, I say, yeah, I say I want them to thin out the cavalry, then immediately select them not to do that. So you men start to thin out the native warriors, the other howitzer unit. Ah, oh, damn, just too late. You know, at least they're going to hit this Native American warrior unit. Misfire. Guns engage the lancers. Artillery engage that unit. Form up a good contingent of buccaneers to withstand this cavalry charge because they are not going to like that one bit. I might even get... I can't get my howitzers to focus on it. I want probably a unit of howitzers to focus on this Native American warrior unit to try to thin them out somewhat. Maybe even pivot my militia back. Switch to canister shot, begin to engage the enemy to our front. There we go. Counter charge the enemy charges. 
Buccaneers in against the Chiefs bodyguard. That would be a good win. You men get a few shots off against the enemy cavalry here. Charge my Buccaneers into the enemy cavalry. The enemy general's been killed, which is good news. The big thing is going to be what happens up here. Fortunately, because they're lancers, what the enemy should experience is a... Uh, what the enemy should experience is a... Oh no, it looks like... Is that at the top? It is at the top. Oh, how it's a fire. Bad. Bad how it's a fire. Militia get up here to block the bleeding. I'm not quite sure what I've just clicked to go down here. You men... Well, to be honest, don't worry about the bowmen. Get back here. Oh, we're making some lances routes. Okay, how it's a fire. Focus on the bowmen. New men get back here. New men attack the native warriors there. Charge my troops in against the warrior society because it can't really do a lot. I'm not really going to do a huge amount of business there. We're going to start to lose some of these men as they route from the field, which is a bummer. Especially as it's, my, as it's my own damn fault. Let's get my pirates. Don't... Oh, come on! Do you see how they just start running over here? It's like, no. Get in here. If you guys turned around... Ninth, light, foot. You could beat the lances, I reckon. Charge on to the native bowmen. Now I reckon that howitzer fire is going to kill me, figuratively. My enemy general, my general, my enemy general, my general has collapsed. Still, we all fight and we all die as one. Fight and destroy the Native American warriors. Charge down the hill into the enemy. We fight as one. The Native American lancers. Go after them. The hope would be that the most of the enemy forces were... Garrison troops. Garrison bowmen. Garrison bowmen. Ultimately, it's part of the reason why it's actually a bit... Well, not advantageous, exactly. It's a good hit, actually. 25 men kill. It's quite handy, actually, having such poor unit diversity because the end result is actually... Oh, they're done for if they charge the back of that unit there. Yeah, they're all going to rout. <laughs> yeah, game over. Yeah, yep, it just started up at the top of the hill. But yeah, this is why <laughs> native troops are so... Yeesh. You think... <laughs> ah, well, we can recoup and regenerate our losses. Yeah, let's just call it there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we can, re we can rebuild from where we were. God, that was a loss. Hey, we still got our general. See, at least they didn't have the strength to necessarily push back against us. No, Württemberg. But yeah, that's kind of the reason why I'm very, very 
reluctant to fight against the Native American states. So you guys get back to here. Oh no, we didn't get our general. Howell Garcia. Actually, we still get the cavalry unit. That's pretty handy. So what do you need? So you're recruiting three units. So you need three more units. So that means... And then maybe a howitzer from St. Augustine. Then you guys can all meet up at Chikasa. Good. You'll continue to march up towards Michigan Territory. The Weavers has been built. Upgrade. I mean, I know these aren't necessarily the, the most valuable regions to upgrade, but I think it's going to be okay. Repair this building, repair the barracks. The army's in good shape. There's a Swedish army. <laughs> They're on their way to go and evict that Russian port, Russian fleet. We can demand the surrender of Christiana So Sweden is going to be on her way. So let's get a flight over to Copenhagen. Can you guys leave the city? You can. You men get off the coast of Christiana to at least provide another unit's worth, an army's worth of support. A bit more replenishment on the go. Or recruitment on the go, not necessarily replenishment. Yes, we lost Michigan Territory, but we'll soon get it back because Mr. Dampy's on his way. You men are replenishing from your... I mean, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of... A lot of bad guys. Get the militia over here as well. 21,200 next turn, which is pretty good going. Every day that passes, more stuff gets built, our tax base grows. And our army grows considerably, because you can't really afford to not... Well, I have slowed down my recruitment to try and spend it more on my economy, but that is a mistake. 13 colonies wants peace and they're not going to get it. I think I almost perpetually want to have armies being recruited in my major population centres like Mexico City. There shouldn't really be a scenario in which that's not being done. You men push up, get these howitzers up there. So let's recruit a general. Olivia Cales. So let's get him to start recruiting more troops. Not necessarily just to create a full army off the bat, but just to keep just to start building up their strength. And here, how will Garcia, you guys are still replenishing. You've got a lot of recruitment on the way. We've also got a lot of artillery on the way. You're going back up to Michigan Territory. You're just going to hold it for now. New town emerges. Santiago de Cali. Get a craft workshop. Inverness in Scotland. You can get a craft workshop. Let's upgrade the farm because that's a nice cheap upgrade. Let's upgrade, ooh, let's upgrade the craft workshop to a weaver's cottage. Still at 2100, but then again we didn't get a lot of construction complete that turn. Yes, my lord. So you men occupy Fort Frederick, Frederick Sten. Still haven't repaired the government chambers in Norway itself. We could do a lot more recruitment in Copenhagen, but we're going to be burning end turns here like mad because uh, we've got an awful lot of things to spend money on. And not enough money. Including, to be honest, investing in Christiana, or the Norway itself, actually. Because Norway has a port to the northwest, I can see that has not been updated. And we know that Sweden's going to be coming at us. Cherokee, Quebec, Barbary States, 
Yep, our spies are still doing good work. Upgrade you, upgrade you. We've got a church building, College of, Div College of Divinity, which we aren't interested in. Let's upgrade our dents to a craft workshop. Let's repair the port at our house. Governor's buildings built. You men get up to the city, or get up to the territory. Forward for crowd and country. Sir, your you're still recruiting, but let's... Unless your, your first artillery unit's been built, so let's get another one. Plus a howitzer unit. And then we also want to keep upgrading our economic infrastructure as it stands we're about to massively expand our capacity we're about to massively expand our armed forces but we need to match that with our own investment so like One of these armies could stand to be embarked to further bolster our. Oh, for God's sake, just sail around them. I don't, I don't even care if you can't get home. Well, you can make port in make port in Bergen. Still haven't repaired the government building here. It's a bit of a pain. Get you guys back into Greenwich. Okay. So send Mr. Bellamy on to Karlstad. Raid the theatre. Benito Baker. We, to be honest, we can leave Norway. So I might even just do something like this. I'll probably want to repair that next turn. I'm not exactly going to want a a uh, complete easy a completely uh, weak stack to run around the flank and take the city back from us don't necessarily want that but at the same time though we are kind of running a global empire on only 20 grand a turn which is really not a lot especially when we can't recruit anything better than uh to, well, we can't recruit anything better than a, a galleon in terms of our navy, and we can't recruit any actual line infantry. Righty, Ottomans are going to try and break the game again, so just a second guys, I'll see you in a minute. And we're back once again with the annual request for peace from the 13 colonies, which they're not going to get. Ooh, the, the Iroquois are going to sally from Michigan Territory, which is to be expected because they are actually well we've put them under siege and they are not likely to be able to withstand many more turns of of uh, siege siege uh, siege conditions kind of kind of tailed off there um but yeah unlike the previous engagement we actually have the uh we actually have a significant advantage in numbers here at least so let's create a brigade on the right. Create a brigade on the left. Well, a mob of buccaneers are going to come swarming in behind them both. Yeah, they're spread out quite significantly, are they? run everyone into position. Some artillery is going to engage their artillery seemingly without any success. Didn't lose a single gun, didn't lose a single crewman despite being attacked by three guns. So they destroyed, they've lost a crewman now. But let's keep on advancing. There we 
go. Push up my troops. So get my guns to start to engage more of these battlefield targets rather than going after their artillery. But there we go. They might get some local successes on the right. We've got our buccaneers to counter them. I'm going to counter charge them. Counter charge them with our militia. And get our buccaneers involved. Artillery's causing hell for their <laughs> causing hell for their troops, but not not just their troops, our own troops. Where's my buccaneers? Let's hit the warrior society. Focus on the chief's bodyguard now with my own guns. Send a regiment of militia forward to knock out their guns. Do my best to surround and encircle the enemy positions. Advance my buccaneers forward to try and hit, get ready to try and hit the general's bodyguard. Bit of fratricide here. Just tie them down. Cease fire with the artillery. Get my buccaneers across. Push out my line. Excellent, there we go. Get my buccaneers in against the general. But I think apart from that, these armed tribesmen are they're kind of similar to you know, armed populist units, they're not they're not the big scary uh, native units to worry about. The chief's bodyguard is about to get hit by my buccaneers. I gotta get in there, knock him down. Oh that vol that volley of musket fire did some good, but it also does cause problems. But there we go, the rest of the army is in flight. All that remains is the general. I'm not quite sure where the general himself is. There he is. Being engaged by a brave militiaman. Oh, there they are. There they were. They were previously okay. But there we go. Now he's, he's a bit closer to a couple more of my troops now. No, there's one buccaneer. Oh no, they've missed the general. One buccaneer hit him. We've got his mate, he's looking increasingly isolated. Oh, they've come back. Charge! Well, there goes the chief's bodyguard. Missed it. There we go, the native warriors have come back. The warrior society, they're not well, they're not bad troops, but they're just the armed tribesmen are just not They're just not that potent. Like you chaps form up and charge the last warrior society, and to be honest, no unit's potent when you've got three fairly decent strength units charging into the mix. I haven't even got my general up here. To give them a, uh, to give you guys a good heads up. You know, militia's actually up to experience level six, five. It's pretty good. The warrior society is wavering. Capture their colours. Not there's any real bonus for doing that. Don't think they don't think they're going to make it. Still, there we are. Michigan territory has been secured. Excellent. Oh no, it hasn't been secured. Maybe next turn. Either way, there's no rush. Come on, Michigan. 
a spy. Spy spy's starting to get on my nerves now. Okay, there we go. We took Michigan Territory back. Obviously, they destroy the farms because they can't actually build proper farms. Valentine Nielsen could cause us some problems. Still, not as many not as many problems as the Native American troops here in Teleco. Yes, my lord. I think you're. Oh yeah, you're go you're going into the fort here. Your orders, your majesty. You men are combining more troops into your forces. Just keep on recruiting, and then Chikasa them. Well, they're mostly coming from Chikasa itself. But we're going to keep our. Uh, we're going to keep growing our forces here at Chikasa. Could recruit some bigger armies at Mexico, maybe, but I don't think there's as much of a need. So let's repair Norway. Let's have a look how things are doing towards Stockholm. It's curious to see. What the battlefield is looking like. Yeah, it's a decent amount of troops inside, and you get a good garrison, unsurprisingly, because it's your capital. Copenhagen itself, just start recruiting reinforcements. Jacob Ward. Continue to recruit troops as well. Apart from that, things are okay, I think. 22,800 this time. Oh, there we go! <laughs> oh, so we did win. Okay, so taking back Michigan Territory did count as winning the campaign. And I mean, I know we are pushing up towards Stockholm, but yeah, this is... I think we're going to really start to bump into a number of problems with the Pirates late game that are just going to make them not necessarily fun to continue with, because at least most other nations do develop a bit more of an interesting late game with some unit variety, advanced technologies, massive battles. You know, there's a bit more to do than there is with the pirates, at least in Darth mod. I have heard that the additional units mod is maybe the better mod to go for as far as the pirates go. Uh, apparently they get more units and... Uh, it's just a bit more of an interesting campaign. I haven't done any looking into it because it's not really feasible to install it at the moment because I've still got other campaigns running on Darth Mod. If there's one thing I do know about Empire Total War, it's bouncing between mods is the fastest way to kill it. Um, just a second, guys. I'm going to drop the recording because the Ottomans are going to break the internet. And to be honest, this is probably another reason why, I wanna, why I'm want to. i going to end up uh, wanting to f finish the, the campaign because this... This is this sucks. <laughs> Just a second, everyone. Well, that was a quarter of an hour of my life I'm never going to get back. <laughs> ah, look at that. Sweden's jumped the gun on us very well. We're going to let them take Copenhagen, but we're going to go get it back. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. So I think that'll be... <laughs> to be honest, if I can take back Copenhagen from that Danish incursion, I think I'd be quite happy to call the campaign there, at least for now. Because, God, I was sat there being like, come on, finish, finish. Because <laughs> it was just taking forever. We're not... Although it's tempting to say, okay, let's take two. Get you back. To be honest, you may as well... What? Oh, okay, you can't cross because the Russians hold it. Okay, in which case, you guys are going to stay in port. You guys can't cross, aren't going to cross over and attack the city yet. But what we can do is raid Uppsala, put Stockholm under siege. Good on. We could attack it. No, no, it's 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 honestly it's best to just siege and let them come after you. If you need, if you're limited on. If you've not just not got a very good army, that's the best thing you can possibly do. So let's upgrade a couple of these towns, just in case. 
There we go. We're not going to go after Copenhagen this turn. We're going to go after it next turn. Let's upgrade you. Let's put Stavanger up into a craft workshop. Keep the coaching in. Upgrade the iron mine. Upgrade this iron mine. To be honest, we don't need the coaching in, actually. Upgrade the roads. So I think this or my ship here is what prevents them, or my small fleet, is what prevents them from crossing over to attack my army here. Although, to be honest, I could just deploy you guys. Orders received yes, and you men get aboard. Embark Mr. Cunningham. Oh, you, you can't. Okay, they didn't have... They couldn't physically leave the port. Okay. Oh, I hate it when it does this. It's like, oh, by the way, there's someone in the way. And I'm like, is there? Actually, go to Aarhus. Deposit your troops. Now, they don't get there in turn. In time. Because if you attack, if you attack Copenhagen, I don't think these guys will help. So we're still going to have to hold on for a turn, in which case... Get you guys. Okay, let's upgrade this craft workshop. Demolish the coaching in, because we no longer need it. Not in Edinburgh. Let's get you guys on the way to Stockholm as well. I mean, it's tempting to attack just to see if we do get the reinforcements. We do get the reinforcements. Okay, that's good. Very well. So then we're going to attack the city of Copenhagen, take back this territory, and probably bring the campaign to a close on that, subject to what you guys say in the vote. Got lots of lots of pikemen. A couple of units of infantry, special troops from the additional units mod kicking in here. Um, but let's attack Copenhagen and bring it back under pirate control. Yeah, in my head I'm thinking, do I want to hit end turn again? They go, no, because that means I can't record for another quarter of an hour as I wait for the Ottomans to work out what they want to do with their end turns. Ugh, yeesh. It does become a bit of a grind when that's what happens. I mean, it's not so bad if I'm, if I'm doing a lot of stuff, you know, in between turns. But having to chop recording every, like, every two minutes because I do a bit of stuff then I have to end turn wait a quarter of an hour chop recording uh, chop the recording come back a quarter of an hour later it's yeah that, that gets to be a bit of a grind I'm going to form a defensive line let the enemy come to us because we have the firepower advantage asterisk we may not have... F well, we have the artillery advantage because the enemy doesn't have any, actually, I think, from memory. Two pirates. Okay, two on the left. Two in the centre-ish. Two on the right-ish. Howitzers make ready. Oh, it's unit's not even limbered. Third horse guards. So let's have a look. Vast, vast got the Dal regiment, eh? Regiment. Pikemen, which you've seen. Regiment of foot. Pikemen. Pikemen. Early Vasta Vasta Bottom Regiment, which I actually think look better. They look really neat compared to these guys who just look like more regular line infantry. Regiment of Fur, Expats, Regiment of Fur, Pikes. Western European Mercenaries, Regiment of Foot. 
sure there were some special pikes, but maybe they have a different unit icon that they don't look really any different on the campaign map. Could be how it is. Mass my buccaneers on the flank. I hear the charge. I mean, I'm, I'm more than happy to pivot if uh, you're not going to actually charge us so I can try and shoot at you a bit more. Alright, flank, flank, 13th, go after the 2nd Regiment. Oh, took out a big block of men on the 19th. These are Lancer Guards. They're going to have the same limitation as other Lancer Guard units, or Lancer units in general do, which means they do a lot of damage on the charge, but when they actually are in a sustained combat, they're in a bit more trouble. You men, you need to hit these pikes. Actually, I might have to get... Okay, my howitzers actually focus on carcass shotting the left. We've got a lot of pike units here. Some bouncing shots, they're hitting the 16th. There we go, then. The lancers have been broken. The militia form line. Buccaneers form right up behind them. Okay, here comes the enemy. Good hit. Okay, aim at the 19th, because they're a nice, big, juicy target. My guys are all stuck trying to file past this cart. Okay, artillery... Four. We'll get ready to fire canister shot. Carca shot coming in. Good hit. Our line infantry is opened up. Get some good cav getting some good canister hits against this regiment of foot. Chance fire, canister shot at the X-Pan infantry. Ah, that's one of their special pike units. Blast them with <laughs> blast them with canister shot at close range. I want to keep my pirates in reserve because we know it looks like they're massing for a charge. Gunners, make ready. Fire your guns. <laughs> hey, these guys have fire by rank. Good intel. It's the kind of thing I should really... We've been keeping an eye on before the engagement even started. Let's get one of the howitzers to work on the, the second regiment on the flank. But the core slaughter is here in the centre. Unfortunately, they did not push forward their attack. And instead, they are withdrawing. Buccaneers in against the Regiment of Pikes. Yeah, they've got pikey boys, but we've got our own guys with stabby little swords. Carcass shot on the 2nd Regiment's doing quite well. Yep. 
So we're going to push back one unit of pikemen. Bring up another unit of pirates in reserve. We'll bring more pirates in reserve because the enemy pikemen are beginning to show their focus. So the Buccaneers are doing great against this regiment of foot. Okay, you men form up like so. Switch the 13th to round shot, get them to engage the enemy. Keep blasting the enemy regiments close to us with canister shot while we keep pouring buccaneer fire into the enemy's melee troops. Regiment of pikes are down. Just stand your ground. We're doing damage to the 16th. So group, collect all of my buccaneers in this sector. So it looks like we are going to make our way through. A good hit there on the 16th regiment, down to 52 men, and they're broken. So these buccaneers here, if they can win against this regiment of pikes, is appearing to become a bit more of a drawn out slugfest than it should be. Well, there we are. Get the artillery to switch to round shot to bombard the horse guards. Pikemen are going down. Advance at my militia on the flank. You guys hit the uh, 17th. There goes the pikemen, so bring my militia to the rear, get my pike militia, get my um, buccaneers to the rear, get my militia back in the line. The 41st regiment are holding so strongly because they're aware of their pirate lord stood right behind them. I want this regiment of militia to make ready following their engagement. You men engage the third horse guards as well. To be honest, make the artillery fire carcass shot. Good kills. Oh, <laughs> just got a bunch of my own militia there. But I think that's going to be the end of the enemy. So what happens when you have a significant portion of your army? Oh, what? Oh, irregulars. Okay, General, run through the gauntlet, cross the dead ground, see if you die from a stray musket shot. The heavy cavalry is still around. see if you will do what needs to be done although it would appear that the the enemy militia have formed up so let's take everyone who isn't an artillery piece swarm 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 attack pan alpha all of my artillery or well, my foot artillery anyway, engage the horse guards, which they're doing with devastating effect at long range. Pretty darn sure the, the um, irregulars showed themselves ahead of the spikes. Oh no, they didn't. That's a different unit, because they're also going to form... They're also going to play stakes. There they are. Charge the irregulars, but keep an eye out for the stakes. Do not want to run into them. Ooh, the 
They're bringing in more men. Oh, did some damage to my general's bodyguard. See if you can knock out one unit of irregulars without falling into their trap and staying away. We did lose one, but they're slowly starting to shuffle up for the resulting melee scrum. Send in my militia to clear out the position. Go on, artillery. Gun down these swines. Stand by the attack. We're going to cross these stakes. Destroy the guerrillas. Shaken. Wavering. Cease the artillery fire. You men charge onto the guerrilla mercenaries. My colonial militia have hit the remaining 28 heavy cavalry. There they go. And the, and the, the last unit of guerrillas have also fled. We've managed to bring one guerrilla along for the ride. But there we go. The end result will be the recapture of Copenhagen without relying on a second army, actually. Fools. Complete fools. Just get the government chambers rebuilt first, then the Great Museum. Don't worry about the stuff being recruited. Cool. But yeah, I think, because that's now all we've re got, got back up to holding 30 regions, we're at the end of the episode, and I think... Now will be a good time to reevaluate what it is we want to actually do with the pirates. So, at the same time as this video comes out, there will be an accompanying faction vote. Well, not a faction vote video, because it's not going to be a faction vote. It's going to be a vote on whether or not to continue for a world domination or hold a new vote. Because, you know, I've conquered a good portion of the Americas. I really quickly, um, I think I've covered pretty much, I mean, there's a few territories I could capture, but in the grand scheme of things, it's like, okay... I want you guys to make the call now. Do I recommit or do I commit to a full world domination? Or do you want to see a bit of something different? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Maybe with the pirates, maybe with someone else. So see you in a second everyone. Well not in a second. I'll see you at some point later on. Cheers everyone.